My channel and to another video today is a very ugly dark day outside it is snowing and it's like now it's like freezing rain I think outside it's supposed to all like freeze over it's like really ugly outside and dark and I just really wanted to like turn on my camera and hang out with you guys and okay I was a little hesitant on filming this video because you probably saw the title and you were like Carolina you're supposed to be cutting down on your shopping in 2024 you're not supposed to be going to thrift stores often and yes that is still something that I am doing this year however I got all of these things between Christmas like December 25th and January 6th which technically is the end of Christmas so the epiphany so I get a pass. <laughs> At least that's what I'm telling myself and that's what we're all just gonna agree on and the fact that this gives me a pass. However, the thrift stores are full because everybody is decluttering, everybody's taking their Christmas stuff down and just emptying their house. I still have to take my Christmas decorations down if you couldn't tell from the background but ignore that. So anyway, like I said, the thrift stores are just like filled with stuff and I just like took a stroll and I went and oh my god I found some amazing things. I mean, can we just talk about the color palettes first of all? This is blazers. And then this is the sweater pile and like look at this color palette the dusty colors I am obsessed with dusty colors especially going into like the spring I feel like it's gonna be a huge thing for me um, so that's sweaters and then I also have some accessories look at these beautiful colors and then I also have some other like accessories or just darker colors I was gonna show you guys everything that I got I thought it would be a more laid-back video just kind of like hanging out I'll try some stuff on as I'm talking about it just over my outfit um, and yeah so I'm going to be starting out with the blazers because I have some beautiful ones. I just kept finding some that I think are really, really beautiful colors. I really wanted to try some more like suit set type things, like with skirts, obviously not pants, um, because they were very popular in like the 1930s and 1940s. And I feel like I don't really find as many, but then I found these ones and I thought maybe I could make it work. Um, so first of all, this yellow color is divine. And this one actually had a very similar silhouette to a pink blazer, like a 1940s blazer that I got. Um, at the Ian Drummond sale and I just thought it was really really pretty. I love this color especially for the spring. Oh my gosh So it looks like this and then it has the little button here and it just fits really nicely Like it fits on my shoulders perfectly the shoulder pads actually doesn't even have shoulder pads It just fits really nicely and I just think it's very very cute and then it has this kind of Detailing on it. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it, it almost has like a little V going at the front it's really, really pretty. The only thing is now I have to find a skirt to pair with it because like with the outfit that I'm wearing right now, like the skirt is very long. So I don't know if it actually looks that nice, but I feel like maybe if I find the right skirt for it, I think it'll be really cute. And the sleeves are like a really nice length too. The next blazer that I have is actually a vintage one. I think it's 1950s. Um, so it looks like this. It's kind of like a light greenish kind of color. Um, and the brand is... Jacordi. I'm not really sure. It has the little label here on the side of the panel there. Um, and this one is actually really cute as well. The color was really not something that I would normally gravitate towards, but I actually really like it when it's on. Um, and then it buttons up at the front, obviously. And it has this like little like V-shape details here at the front. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick that up. But I just think it's really cute. And it has this little, I don't want to say like a slit, but like a little thing at the back so it's like easier for you to move. I guess. Um, but I just thought it was really, really cute. The last blazer that I have, I was actually debating on if I should buy it or not because it's like one size too big. However, it was only $3.99 and then I had a coupon, so I ended up paying like a dollar for it. So I was like, okay, I'll take it home because I love the bottom part of it. And then I can always wear it with like a thick sweater underneath or something. But I just, I really, really liked the buttons and the little pockets that are in the front. Like it has these like big little big little pockets so it doesn't make any sense it has these little pockets here um and i just thought it was really really cute actually now that i'm looking at it on the on the screen it doesn't look that big i think it's just the sleeves are a little bit long so i don't know if i can get that taken up so that they're a little bit shorter i feel like it might look better if i do that i could probably take it to a tailor to fix that but i just think it's really really cute and i love the buttons here Okay, so moving on to the sweaters. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with all of these colors. I don't even know where to start. So this is one that I got. It's more so to like wear around the house kind of things for a more casual vintage look when I'm just at home. Because sometimes like I just I do want to be comfy, obviously, but I still want to look like vintage and like 
appropriate for the time period that I really like. So I ended up getting this sweater and I'm pretty sure it is vintage, well vintage from like the 70s I'm pretty sure just based on the tag that's on it. Um, and I just thought it would be really cute for like a more casual like at home kind of day. Like a day like today where it's like really snowy and gross outside and I'm not planning on leaving my house and I can wear it with like a long wool skirt like I'm wearing right now to a, for a more like 1930s, 1920s like very casual outfit. Um, I just keep thinking of those videos of in like the 1920s and 30s where they're going like um, um, in the snow and they have like a sleigh and it's like super casual outfits. So it's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting but anyway so it's really really cute. It is red with little white stripes and I think what I liked about it is this collar. I don't really see collars like this very often. I just thought it was really really cute. Um, it is a little bit more oversized than I normally like to wear but like I said I feel like this is going to be perfect for like lounging around the house where I still want to look really cute but um, I just want to be really comfy. So um, yeah. Okay, so this next sweater um, is 70% lamb's wool, 20% angora, and 10% nylon. So it's going to be super warm for the winter. I mean, it, tell me this color is not perfection. It is like buttery, and it's also really, really soft. But the color is just so gorgeous. I don't, I'm normally not drawn to yellow colors, especially mustard. I really don't like wearing mustard. But this shade of yellow is so gorgeous and like dusty. And I actually think it's actually really flattering. Um, and like I said, it's going to be really warm. So I can wear this like day to day when it's really cold outside. And I feel like this color will actually match a lot of things like I can wear it with cream like I'm wearing right now and I can like Tuck it in if I wanted to I could wear it with gray with brown with beige um, Depends on the shade of green. I can make it work Like I feel like there's a lot of colors that I can pair with this tone I feel like it's a pretty neutral color and I don't really have anything in this color in my wardrobe to be honest So I'm excited to add something like this to my closet and to see you can get some really nice quality warm things at the thrift store you don't have to spend a lot of money to get some cashmere or lamb's wool or anything like that like the next item that i have it's also 100 percent cashmere so like you can definitely get stuff like that at the thrift store if you do want to be warm so it's something to keep in mind you don't have to spend a lot of money to be warm this is the next sweater and like i said you really don't have to spend a lot of money this is 100 percent cashmere that i found at the thrift store originally from Saks Fifth avenue and it's really really soft it is a little bit more muted in person i don't know why it's coming up a little bit brighter on the screen. I can always tuck it into whatever um, skirt I'm wearing, which is exactly what I would do. I just, I'm lazy right now. And I think it would look perfect with like literally so many colors, like this cream color with brown, with gray, with blue. Like I feel like there's just so many colors that will match this. And it's just simple top that you can wear like day to day with like a necklace or you can add like a little brooch or something and they are also really nice pieces that are don't have to be vintage to create vintage outfits so if you are diving into like dressing vintage but you don't want to buy like or switch over your entire closet for vintage because i know that takes time you can always add in some pieces like this where it really you can't really tell if it's vintage or not this one's definitely not vintage but if you pair it with other vintage things i feel like it kind of passes and it looks like it could be a vintage piece um so yeah definitely recommend getting some pieces like this that you can kind of wear day to day okay moving on to some more fun pieces how gorgeous is this purple knit top i think it's absolutely beautiful it is not vintage but it does kind of remind me of tops from like the 1930s especially with this kind of um like knit pattern on it and the fit is just really nice and the color also i feel like it's a very muted color which is very reminiscent of the 1930s and i just i really really like it i love this little neckline i would wear it with a blouse underneath just because personal preference i don't really like having my shoulder bones out. I don't know. It just doesn't really suit me. And if I was wearing like a little 1930s hat, I feel like I can definitely pass for like a 1930s outfit. And I got this for like $4.99 at the thrift store and it is just beautiful. You guys, I am in love with this sweater. How cute is this? This is probably my favorite find so far of 2024, even though we're like six days in. <laughs> Um, but I just think it's so cute. You guys know I've been like really into this kind of pattern lately. Is it Icelandic? Is that what this is called? Like this particular pattern? Is that what this is called? I should look that up. Um, but I just think it's really, really pretty. And I actually have seen some pictures of women in the 1920s out in the snow wearing stuff like this, especially with like a longer wool skirt like I'm wearing right now. And I just think it's so cute. I mean, not that I'm going to go out walking around the snow, like by choice. Um, but I do think it is really cute to wear, you know, when I'm inside or like out in a chalet in a ski trip where I'm not going to ski, you know? I just think it's really cute. And I love these colors. They're so feminine and like muted. There's like brown and a little bit of like a purple. Very similar to like the purple that's on this sweater. So I don't know. I just, I feel like the colors are just really, really nice and just are really flattering. I normally don't like bold prints on me, but I feel like with this, it just kind of 
works? I don't know. I feel like a supermodel, even though I don't think a single supermodel would wear this. <laughs> Moving on to accessories, I'm going to do the hats and like that kind of stuff last because I know it's going to mess up my hair. So I ended up getting two handbags and I know I shouldn't even be buying a single more black handbags. I have way too many, but like look at the shape. It's so cute. I really, really like it. I'm pretty sure it's like a 1960s bag just based on the tag and like the little metal zipper and like the whatever. Um, but I feel like if I am wearing like a more 1940s, 1930s kind of look, I feel like it kind of passes just based on the shape and because it's a little, like little clutch, I feel like I can kind of make it work. Um, I really like it. I don't have any other handbag in this shape, in this color. So I thought it was really cute. And yeah, I mean, not much more to say about it. It has like all these little beads on it. You can kind of see it there. And then the other handbag that I got, I actually got at the Frailton Antique Mall because they were having like an after Christmas sale. And I went and this bag was 50% off. And I know it looks black, but it is actually a very, 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 very dark navy blue. It is almost like black though. It looks like this. And I ended up getting this for like $7. And I just thought it was really cute. It's like a cord bag, which you guys know I love. And then it has this like thick little twist. Um, what's that called? For somebody that talks or thinks about fashion constantly, I really should know more terminology. But um, so it looks like this. It's blue on the inside and the brand is Simpsons. And it has the little mirror in it as well. I feel like this is going to be like a really nice size because I have a lot of really small bags, but I don't have like a blue big size like this. Like this for me is like a big size. So it's going to be really, really cute. So especially I can wear this like all year round. I don't know. I'm blabbling. I'm blabbling. I'm blabbering on for no reason. You guys can see it. You guys get the idea. Okay, I have a story time for this. So, um, when I was in London in June, I went to Liberty. It's like a big mall. It's like really, really cool. No, it's not like a mall. It's more of like a department store, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, so it was a really, really beautiful and I just, I loved the entire concept of it. And I was, they had like a sale on silk scarves and I really wanted one to kind of get as like a more of like a souvenir type thing that I went there just because I don't know if I'm ever going to go back. And I like would go in and look at the scarves and I couldn't find anything that I liked and then I would leave. And then I would like look around like other places and then I would go back and I really, really wanted one, but I didn't end up getting one because they were too expensive to buy something that I didn't even like and like why would I do that anyway um but then I was at the thrift store the other day and I saw this scarf and I just thought it was gorgeous first of all the colors are amazing and it's kind of like a hunting party I think is what like the pattern is and then there's like foxes in the middle so I fell in love with it I love the colors and then as I was about to check out I saw and it was actually from Liberty London so I feel like I finally got like a souvenir type thing even though I didn't end up getting it there but I actually ended up finding one that I loved way more than the ones that they were selling at the store so I'm really really happy with it um, anyway, so these are the kind of colors that I'm really interested in wearing for the spring. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we actually get closer to the spring, but I thought those colors were gorgeous. It's like a seafoam kind of green with beige and brown. Um, let me put it on. So I would be wearing it like this, obviously. You guys know I love my silk scarves. Cover up this curl. Like how pretty does that look? Very like old Hollywood. Love that. Okay, so I ended up getting this one. Um, and then, okay, so I got this. So it's like one of those scarves that has like the leaf kind of pattern on it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? And I saw this at the thrift store and I wanted it so bad. I love this color. I think it's so cute. However, when I put it on, it, like it's cute, but at the same time, like this is not going to keep me warm at all. It's just like way too big for my neck. I don't think it's actually supposed to be that tight to your neck because no one's neck is like that big. Um, but it looks like this and I was so sad because I love the color, but I know this is not going to keep me warm. So like, why would I buy it? You know? Um, so I was like, okay, I'll just put it back. But then I had a genius idea. So I'm so smart. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what if, what if I try it like this? Like, <laughs> wait, let me put it on so you guys can see how smart I am. So I was like, okay, let me wear it like this. Like I do with my little, like bonnet things. And then I can just wear it like this. Is this genius or do I look really stupid? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below, but I, I like it. Like, I think it's cute. I don't know. I'm going to wear it like this regardless. Um, and then there was like this little bundle 
of scarves and a hat and to be honest i was really drawn to this color and i really liked this scarf i've been really into like these small little like hand knit scarves and this color is just so beautiful it's like a muted like i don't want to say turquoise but like a muted kind of green tone i just think it's really cute like imagine this with like a chocolate brown coat like that's so cute um it also comes with another scarf which is really random i don't know why this bundle would come with two scarves and then it also comes with this little hat and I have seen hats like this in like 1920s again those like snow videos something like this but I'm not really sure how to style it I don't really wear like hats really okay and that's a lie like I don't really wear like knit like winter hats like this so then I was like okay how can I style this so let me attempt to put it on my head and we can talk about it like see like I feel like this just looks like super modern you know what I mean so then I was like okay let me like like turn it a little so it can be more of like a side thing you know a little more styled I mean this is not going to keep me warm whatsoever it's definitely more like for the look you know if you have any idea how I could style this or if you have any photos of inspo that I could use on how to style this hat let me know like I have seen photos of like girls and women wearing stuff like this but I'm like how did you style that like if I do this, then I just look like a hipster from like 2010. Either way, I'm happy with the scarf. The hat, I'm not 100% sold on. Like I feel like it could look really cute. I just don't know how to style it. So I don't know. I might have to spend some time in front of the mirror to figure that out. Um, so this and this is basically like a full on matching set. And then the other scarf is still a matching set, but it's a different pattern. It has like these little panels on it. And it all just came together in a bundle. Okay, and then last but not least is actually probably my favorite winter accessory that I've found. It is absolutely gorgeous. First of all, it's like this beautiful kind of like burgundy wine kind of color and it is so pretty. This one actually looks a lot more vintage because it kind of reminds me of like a 1920s like cloche hat. I mean, look at this. Tell me this pattern here is not stunning i obviously would have to style my hair differently because this doesn't make any sense but i feel like it is so cute like if i had like a little bun or if i like really make it look like i have like a little bob like a 1920s bob you know what i mean like, I feel like that would be so cute. And yeah, that is a pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't expect any more hauls from me until like the springtime because I'm really cutting myself off from going to the thrift store. I'm honestly not even gonna step foot in there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See, the sweater fits me perfectly, but it's kind of a struggle to take on and off, to be honest. It just fits too perfectly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>